I did have sent you the paper which is on the anesthesia is because it is Hi folks, welcome to my YouTube channel Tribal Geek. It's been a long time since I recorded a video on the update of my PhD and today I got some time. It's been a pretty bad week last week because uh, it was a lot of snowing and the weather was really bad and I was sick for the entire week. However, I did not take the sick leave because I was trying to work and hustle and, and do a lot of things. Um, but this week I'm kind of recovered and I'm feeling better. So I thought I'd just record my, um, my day, how it is and what am I doing? Because recently I've kind of uh, stopped doing a lot of experiments because uh, I'm kind of winding up with the data analysis and uh, trying to understand what experiments I have done, like what, what all the things I've got till now. Uh, so it's going on and so it's an update for you. Uh, I'll be shooting uh, a few videos of my day and uh, what am I doing and where am I going and everything. I hope you guys like this video. After moving to this house, I think I've not recorded a house video. So this video is just a glimpse of my room, not the entire house. So this is my workplace and uh, I've got a very nice window which gives me a lot of sunlight. And I do paint. So these are my small paintings. And uh, this is like a gallery which I've just made. It gives me a lot of motivation. And recently I've started reading a lot of books. So these are some of the books I've read. And this is my puja place. So yeah, this is my room. So I'm running a bit late uh, in the morning. So I've made some breakfast with the baked beans. Um, yeah, this is one of my easiest breakfasts which I would make because everything is ready made. Yeah, the baked beans is ready. And I've made an avocado toast, which is uh, one of the easiest things that is the bread and avocado, along with some ketchup and mayonnaise and a coffee. So let me show you. That's my breakfast. I have hash browns, which is a frozen one, and I've made it. And then baked beans, and they're sandwiches with coffee. Coffee is something which is really mandatory. That's my breakfast. Hi, Manoj. Hi. Hi, boy. Hello. Nice to meet you. Good morning. Hi, Derek. Good. Hello. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Ruby. How are you, How are you feeling, Manoj? Oh, I'm, I'm okay now. <laughs> there was oh, a yeah, little... voice still. Yeah. yeah, I still have cold and kind of cough, uh, but yeah, fever is gone. So, to update you guys that I have recently joined one of the course at uh, Cambridge University. It's called Enterprise Tech, which is one of the uh, course designed to teach their entrepreneurial skills for the researchers and uh, industrial professionals. So this course, uh, I got it via the Henry Royce Institute, which is a fully funded course. And uh, I'm kind of working on a project where uh, this is a real time project application, um, uh, which is uh, from the part of uh, Cambridge Enterprise Tech. And in this project, we have to work in such a way that this is our idea and we have to pitch it on a day uh, in front of investors and the other audience. So today I just had a meeting with my teammates and uh, right now I'm kind of uh, finalizing the presentation for that. And uh, today we have a supervision meeting for that as well. So this is not a part of my PhD work. Uh, this is an extra part of, uh, of the PhD. And uh, this is all really important. The reason is because uh, you need to have more of extracurricular activities and extracurricular skills in order to, uh, um, you know, uh, build up your career uh, if you're going for industry or if you want to start your own business and things like that. After my meeting with the enterprise tech teammates, I kind of started working on the supervision slides for the enterprise tech. I finished the supervision slides and then I was doing some work with my PhD where I was trying to understand some data and uh, finalize that work. And also I had my PhD supervision meeting this week as well. So I had to complete that work too. So it was more of like a desk work for this whole day. So I just finished a lot of work and then now I was going to gym and you can see outside it's actually 5 o'clock but it's dark and since it's winter 
it gets dark so quick so i kind of want to finish my gym early today the reason is i have a meeting at 7 to 9 so let me just go to gym come back and then attend the meeting have dinner and sleep I think um, mine was a bit uh, okayish. Like the first week was good. After the lecture, um, the first week I tried to. So I just completed the meeting, and uh, I have a long day tomorrow as well. Today I just uh, had a lot of research and uh, completions of some work, uh, and then meeting with the enterprise tech team, and then now I had the supervision for the enterprise tech team as well and uh, this meeting was much needed the reason is because we need to understand how our team is progressing and things uh, so basically we try to cover a lot of information on uh, what we have done till now and are we going in the right way and are we productive enough and things like that so that was good uh, i think we got a lot of insights however since the meeting was a bit late which was around uh, seven to nine for two hours it was a bit tiring but yeah, all good. So this is the perks of doing an extra curricular course or, you know, an extra research during your PhD. Uh, yeah, but still you would get uh, certified that you have undergone this course and things like that, which is really nice. Uh, right now, I just have to check uh, for tomorrow's uh, the module which I'm teaching. Um, I just wanted to uh, go through the slides and see uh, what I'm teaching and if I have prepared for it and things like that. Uh, yeah, and then tomorrow the day continues with a lot of research and uh, first the teaching and then the research uh, and so on. So I'll be shooting tomorrow as well. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day of my PhD. I'm ready and I'm going to the university now because I have teaching and after that I'll be continuing my work in your office. Uh, and then later I'll be coming home, gym and so on. The day continues. I hope you guys like this video as well. Let's go. Tutorial 7 with respect to critically appraisal of the research. Uh, in the last tutorial, we discussed on the understanding of the discussion, how do we interpret the discussion, and how are we going to use the data, what we have got in the results, and then write it in a way which can be generalized. Uh, did you guys do the task? Like, did you write, did you start writing the discussion part of whatever the results you have got? Right. So we can just discuss that, uh, but today we have another task which is critically appraising the research paper which uh, I showed in the last class. So from that we will be learning how are we going to understand any research, how is it going to make an application out of it, right? Because have you guys read the paper today, like the paper which was sent last tutorial on the anesthesia, on how the oxygen level in the anesthesia causes the changes and things, right? Perfect. So, in any research, as we are in the journey of the research, initially we started with the literature review where we try to identify what's the gap in the research and how are we going to fill the gap. Then we started with our own hypothesis in order to understand and do the experiments in a way where we are going to make that, I mean, fill the gap of that research. And finally, how are we going to do that? That we did via methodology. And then uh, we went with the results and analysis, like how are we going to analyze the results using graphical way and statistics and things. Once we get the results and things, then we started with the discussion part. Uh, for the discussion, whatever the results what we have got, we have used those results and tried to uh, match that with the existing literature and bring the support from the existing literature to our results and finally conclude that. been a long day today i'm still in the office and it's around 6 40 now uh, the reason is because i have got lots of work because i've got a supervision meeting tomorrow and usually the supervision meeting happens every month once and uh, during that meeting we try to uh, get show our all our supervisors like what we have done exactly on like uh, throughout the month and tomorrow i'm going to show like what i've done for the last like past month 
So I, I was trying to curate all the data and like um, make the slides and and try to identify the discussion points and what experiments I'm going to plan in future and everything so that uh, you know it can be easier for us to discuss tomorrow. Yeah, I was just doing that and um, then I was also doing kind of some data analysis and stuff. I know it's a bit late, but you know, in PhD, the reason only why I'm making this whole video is because I want to show you guys that PhD is something which needs lots of time and uh, I know it is easy to keep the balance. However, sometimes it is not in your hand that uh, you can keep the same balance, but still try to compensate in such a way that if you are putting more of time in doing some work or completing some work, try to take off an extra time, some other time, so that you could just uh, have your own time to spend some um, something on like an extra activities and things like that. So after this, I'll be going for gym today as well. And uh, I'll be recording that and then going home and cook dinner, finish and sleep. So. It's been really a long day and the time is around 10 o'clock now. I'm trying to cook some dinner. I have some noodles which I prepared yesterday for the dinner, but today I thought I'll just make some more so that morning and tomorrow afternoon I wouldn't be like, you know, game cooking or something. So I'm just trying to prepare a curry and I have uh, frozen chapatis for that as well as noodles. So. I'll just eat everything. It was a very long day and tomorrow as well I have a supervision meeting and then that will ha after that I again have a, a meeting with my teammates um, and then I have to do some data analysis and stuff. So again tomorrow the day continues with a lot of work and that's what it is. See you guys tomorrow. Hi guys, good morning and welcome to the day three of my week in a PhD. And now I'm having breakfast and today I thought I'll just work from home because I have a few meetings and the meetings are going to be like one with the PGR reps uh, because I'm a part of a PGR rep in the mechanical engineering. Uh, so what we do is uh, we kind of organize a lot of events with respect to PhD uh, students where we kind of do like a sports day and other stuff. So we are like four of us and we kind of meet every month like twice or thrice so that we discuss what can be done what what are the problems with the phd students and etc so we are going to meet today as well and after that i have a meeting with the tribonet for the website which i work for and then i have a supervision meeting today so for the supervision meeting i have a lots of data to show and lots of things to discuss with my supervisors yeah the day is going to be like completely with the meetings and the other stuff yeah uh, you can see as you can see that i'm having a breakfast which i kind of made it like on the first day as well the reason is uh, i kind of keep it really simple and similar so that i would not be having a lot of time wasted on thinking what should i cook and what should i make and things like that yeah and that's it and so on so i'll be recording the entire day and then at the end of january we can do another welcome back coffee event yeah i think that's a good idea um it's just a bit more time to sort it so i don't know have any of you got anything on the Oh, well, probably works in the tribology field, I, I think it's preferred so that he understands uh, the, the uh, physics behind it and then mm. he just learns Python and on the go. Eh? And then, yeah. No, I think that's I think, a very specific kind of. <laughs> I think we should we should look into a broad range of mechanical engineering or something like that because tribology is a very specific field, and most of the tribologists, if they know Python and they know everything, they would be doing like higher end research. They wouldn't be looking for internships, you know. <laughs> Do 
So as you can see that I'm having my lunch now and uh, after back to back meetings, I just completed everything and it was a very good day and um, yeah, and I'm having lunch in the evening, which is around five o'clock right now. And um, the meetings were went a bit long uh, than expected and there was a lot of things to discuss. Uh, however, it was nice for me because uh, now I have an idea on like what to do and how to continue, etc. And yeah, this was my day for now. And after this lunch, maybe I will just uh, continue with some more data analysis and stuff and then end my day because it's already evening. And then again, go to gym, uh, dinner, sleep, and then tomorrow it continues. Also, I was thinking to end this videos of my uh, compilation of the week in a PhD here because uh, I don't want to do another two days uh, because it will be most of repetitive task and you you guys would get bored as well. So uh, I hope you guys have got an idea how a researcher's life and a PhD looks like. Uh, I hope you guys get motivated by this as well. Uh, if you like uh, desk work or if you like experiments or teaching or academia or research and, and you want to be more productive and things like like that um uh, yeah that's it and i hope you have enjoyed uh, this whole journey and i'll be making more of such videos and things as well and if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel tribal geek do subscribe until next video see you guys